Vilnius is considered the Baroque capital of northeastern Europe. The Church of the Apostles St. Peter and St. Paul in Vilnius was completed in 1684 in the late Baroque style. The main facade has a very distinguished feature – the columns that visually break down the facade. Until then, pilasters were common in Lithuanian Baroque churches. An interesting two-section pediment, arranged on different planes, is decorated with a relief composition. Still, the interior is the most impressive. It is named the most important Baroque masterpiece in Northern Europe. Italians Pietro Perti and Giovanni Galli worked on the interior moldings. Stucco moldings of various biblical and lifelike scenes dominate there. Moreover, impressive frescoes have survived on the vaults of the middle nave. In 1738, 1749, the Church of St. John's in Vilnius was reconstructed in the late Baroque style, based on the idea of the architect Johann Christoph Glaubitz. The main church facade features a typical undulating Baroque effect, thanks to the protrusions located on different planes and merging into columns. On Pilet Street side, the church is adorned with an impressive, wavy and richly decorated pediment, including a small bell niche. The presbytery complex of expressive Baroque altars is often called the most impressive in the country. The interior is complemented by Baroque sculptures of the saints created by Hedel in the 18th century and a fresco above the great altar depicting the beheading of Saint John. Built in 1650, the Church of Saint Teresa is considered among the first Baroque temples in Lithuania. Large volutes connect two sections of the main church façade. The façade plane is enriched with large, broken-line cornices and smaller architectural details of different colors. The portal above the high plinth is extended by a window with baroque-shaped edging. The central window of the top section is also highlighted with large edging, a balustrade and a massive semicircular dripstone. The Patsas family coat of arms has survived on the pediment. The church interior is decorated in impressive Rococo style. Commenced in 1604 by the Jesuit order, St. Casimir's Church was the first Baroque temple in Vilnius. It underwent many reconstructions and was even turned into an Orthodox church in the 19th century. At that time, the towers and the dome were decorated with bulbous helms. The main facade was also modified. It was decorated in rich new Baroque shapes. 
The fact that the church is the first Baroque one in the city is clearly illustrated by buttresses protruding from other facades, a typical structural solution back in the Middle Ages. And here is the contrast. If we look at the transept and presbytery pediments, we see undulating Baroque shapes. Crucifixion, the 18th century mural, has survived indoors. St. Francis Xavier Church of Kaunas Jesuit Monastery was consecrated in 1722. In the middle of the century, after the fire, the church exterior acquired a Baroque appearance. The three-stage façade is horizontally divided by profiled cornices and vertically by double-edged pilasters. The upper dynamic sections of the towers are the most baroquely vigorous part of the church. During the church restoration in 2016, three Baroque frescoes were unveiled. The central Baroque altar in the church interior is its most striking feature. Built in the second half of the 18th century, St. Trinity Church in Trashkune was designed by the renowned architect Marcin Knakfos. The tall main façade is dominated by a portico with a pediment. The latter has a central balcony, the door of which is decorated with a cross-pattern edging and a triangular dripstone. Two rows of ionic pilasters holding the segmental upper part are located on the sides. The basilica naves are separated by massive pillars. The great altar was created in 1798 by the church decorator Karel Jelski. 